Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is April 24th, 2024. Because I can sit here and say that I am going through this, I'm going through that. Everybody's going to go through shit. Like that's just reality. Everybody's going through something. Everybody has their own life. I never talked about this just because for privacy reasons, obviously, you never want to talk about where you work while you're still working there. For safety reasons, this world is crazy. You don't think that people are crazy or people are going to do anything. No. There are psychos living on this planet. There's crazy people all around the world and when they have access to the internet and they get the information, it's just dangerous. Yeah, I never wanted to mention, but I was previously working at Yeti in Al Moana, which is one of the biggest malls in the world, but this one is particularly located in Hawaii. I'll tell you like the pros and cons of working there. And this is not a video to bash the company or whatever. This is just me sharing like my most recent employer. I was working at Yeti as a part-timer. I think you can only be a part-timer unless you are a lead, key holder, or working full-time. Those are like the only times that you can get full-time hours. I already was going into the job wanting a part-time because I'm doing social media, YouTube, and I just wanted a part-time job. So I got hired, um, went through the whole Yeti interview process. It was great. It was more of like virtual. I came in, did my onboarding. And the job was like one of the easiest jobs I've ever had. Marshalls was really easy. The only annoying thing about Marshalls was that you had to constantly push the member, um, what is that called? Loyalty program. You guys all know how that is in retail. That was the only thing that's annoying but it was fairly easy. I would say Yeti was like one of the easiest jobs I've ever had. We barely had to deal with registers. We only had one register in our store and two electronic checkout tables. That was really easy. I think my most challenging thing in that job was for me personally, it was retaining product knowledge. There's just some stuff that I struggle to retain mentally, memory wise. So that was a struggle for me. I was getting some sass from some coworkers for not like being able to remember to do certain protocols or transactions but yeah i struggled with that dealing with entitled customers it's like the first time i've ever dealt with entitled customers because i've always had irritable customers before in like previous jobs but i this is like the first time i've experienced entitled customers so that was really interesting i think it has to do with like townies because jobs that i've worked in town there's a lot of entitled people like tourists people that think they're better than everyone and they know everything and they can pull answers right out their ass it's that type of energy a lot of entitled customers and then recently i started my job at whole foods and it's in honolulu we don't have any west side local whole foods it's just like it's far away i think i've experienced the most entitled customers ever it was really bad now i'm still technically employed with whole foods so it's best that i keep my mouth shit and i just i don't have anything like super negative to say about the company because the company itself is a great company their morals and standards align with mine so if you guys know whole foods and what they stand for sustainability helping the environment and people all around the world i i love that like i love the brand itself but the customers that come into whole foods very entitled i think the most entitled that i've ever experienced and working in an industry where you have constant entitled customers some people are allowed to take the shit like they're they're fine okay but for me personally i don't like being treated that way and i know it gets complicated because it's like you know you're at your job this is your job you get paid be professional that's just that like i don't believe that anyone should be talked to and treated like they're dirt literally and like they're less than because it's my job i think the way i see things is very differently like i don't know i mean i know some some of you can probably say like girl it's part of your job every job has a hard part of it or you know it's not it's just expected but yeah i'm I'm very much a work for myself type of gal. I love everything that has to do with working for myself. Right now, it's not full time for me. I got the job at Whole Foods. The work itself, it wasn't my original what I applied for. But I figured get my foot in and I can always transfer to a different department. Like in reality, like how long is that gonna take? You know, like I, I don't want to make this about like me, 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 but it's like I'm, this is how I truly feel. And a lot of you can agree with me. It really gets to me mentally. Like I mentally, there's a lot of things that I can mentally handle, don't get me wrong, but there's just some things that cross the line for me, some things that I mentally am not going to deal with. So at what point is it, do I stick it out and wait for an opportunity in a different department, not knowing 
how long that's actually gonna take. It could take me years. You know, I'm on like a 90 day probation. I'm learning that I'm possibly gonna be working in the department next to me, which is like chef case or something, which I personally, I'm just gonna keep it real. Like I personally do not like that department. Love the people in it, but the job itself is not my forte. Like it's not something that I wanna do. I was trained on working at um station i mean i kept an open mind and i did what i need to do but that's definitely not like i don't i don't i can't see myself doing that when i'm kind of already trying to learn the sandwich station and for me the way that i operate because i feel like everyone operates very differently you know what someone else can tolerate the other person just can't it's just some parts of that department that i i don't like and <laughs> i'm not good at and i know i'm gonna be freaking miserable because it's just not for me you know, it's not for me it's one thing is not for everyone like the way that someone works at one thing is completely different for the next person so i'm over here trying to learn the sandwich station right and then the last two hours of my shift i was learning the chef's case which i don't want to do all that so now i'm thinking oh my god am i going to have to like help out in that department am i gonna have to work in that department sometimes like i just strictly wanted to work in the sandwich department and i don't know it just messes with me mentally and like i don't want to ever feel like i'm stressed out at my freaking job you know because i know what that leads to and that leads to unhappiness and stress and i'm just gonna be transparent with the person that's training me if i can move into a different department i know that they're probably short staffed in the sandwich station but i don't know if it's for me so i'm just gonna be transparent and honest and if i like have no choice and i literally have to to work my way up into different departments then for me it's not worth my mental health in my opinion like i don't want to grow stressed out so i am deciding if this job is meant for me it sucks because i got like my apron my hat my shoes like i just started training and it's only the first day but like if I... man there's just some things that i'm like this is not where i will thrive in i don't know if being honest is gonna hurt me or it's gonna help me the only thing that i can do is to just be transparent because i don't want to just like dip out bye i want to communicate my reasonings and whether that's respected dismissed then i will navigate from there because it's very hard to get a job like this is the reality of working for somebody else working for a company it's hard to get a job nowadays it's like who you know and not so much of what's on your resume your credentials a lot of it has to do with who you know because you get that pool the rest so the people that are in the other pool is just denied instantly it's easy to stay and have a job you know that you're gonna get paid at the cost of your mental health or you take a risk and you don't know when you're gonna land your next job don't know if you'll be able to pay your next bill god is our provider he will always come through because he's come through in my life many many times so i'm just mentally trying to navigate am i already seeing things in this job that i know that i will not enjoy doing or do i need to just take it for what it is because that's the reality of the job i don't know so that's all i'm gonna say it's not about the brand itself like i love whole food you know what they stand for that's why i applied to work there and a lot of companies that i do apply to is because i thought that they aligned with my beliefs but whole foods so far has shown me like that's the most they're the most consistent with what they believe in their core values and just how they care for the planet and sustainability and other people health in general so that's like the only company that has shown me through and through their standards and morals and so, so far, it has nothing to do with the company. It's just the task at hand, the department that I'm in. I want to dig, honestly, and go to like a different department. But I don't know if it's that easy. I'm just praying to God. Like my next shift is this Friday. So I have a miracle to happen or God work in me to either take it out or to leave because it's not for me. Sometimes I'd be peeping some stuff my dumb ass will stay and try to see if it's really what it is leaving it up to god and not making decisions based off of how i feel because it's not about how i feel it's like what do i feel whole like do i feel fulfilled when i'm in that position do i feel like i accomplished something when a task is done right now no so i don't even know what's the point of sharing that but maybe you could relate if you're wanting to leave a job or if you are about to get hired and you don't know what to expect just keep an open mind but this isn't based off of how you feel definitely weigh, weigh out the pros and cons because you don't want to stay in a job that you are not happy with and you're not 
good at honestly like, if you feel like your department you're not gonna thrive and that's not what your expertise is in then it's not don't force it leave that position to workers that are great at what they do that doing that fulfills them i was gonna go on and on about like how life is so freaking short because it truly is life is too short to be stressing what i want to do how i want to go about things i pray that i make the right decision